I'm a big collector. I go to the second-hand markets in Beijing every week. You can pick up something that's 50, 60, 100 years old, and they all give me inspiration. I consider myself probably one of the luckiest guys in the world. Uh, hello, my name is Dominic Johnson Hill. I'm from England. I uh, left home, uh, my home England, when I was around 17, 18 years old. I traveled the world. Uh, I lived in Africa for a while, and then South America, and then in India. And then I arrived in China when I was around 20 years old. And Beijing became my home. It all happened by accident. Beautiful accident. <laughs> I'm not a big planner, you know. I've always enjoyed the hutongs, you know. I've always, I've spent most of my life in Beijing living in the hutongs. So we'd share a courtyard with four or five families. Living in the hutongs is a fantastic community. There's a lot of history. Um, there's um, a lot of interesting characters from objects, you know. Kang Ai, my neighbor, she threw out an old thermos, you know, an old duanping. So I took a picture of it and then we made it into a design. A neighbor of mine who said a, you know, a slogan like, you know. um, and then I put it on a shirt. I'm a big fan of Lei Fang. And so I made Lei Fang into a, a stained glass window. You know, these objects for Chinese people are very normal. Now from a foreigner's eye, these objects are very new and they're very beautiful. And so I notice them because for me, they're quite fresh and interesting. So I take everyday objects from Chinese people's lives, everyday subway tickets, food tickets, you know, thermoses, potties, all of these objects and things. And when I arrived in China, the economy had just opened up. Everything was just starting to develop. So there was so much opportunity. So it was a good place to do business. Yeah, it's just plaster.com. You can see the website on the thing there. Okay. All right, no worries. Uh, there's, there's a card for you. A city like Beijing, when I arrived here, was 10 million people and it grew to 20 million people. It puts massive pressure on the infrastructure of an old city and an old city has to develop. Now parts of that city will have to be destroyed to make way for development, to make way for a new economy, to make way for a better life for people. So parts of a lot of the old city had to be destroyed. It's very sad. Of course, ideally I would love it if the whole of old Beijing, including the old wall, had been protected. What I hope is that what remains of this old city, what has been protected like this area, what I really wanted to see was for this hutong to become a creative street. The hutongs are the soul of the city. This is where all the history is. I think the longer you spend in a city, uh, the more you become a part of it. I've lived here for 22 years. I'm a part of this city. I own a house here. I own a business here, my children are born here, I met my wife here, I work with local government here. I absolutely love my life here. I couldn't be happier. I have the most incredible.